Look at this plant. It looks miserable. This one's leaves are dead or dying. And this plant here just looks really average. But it's very easy to make these plants look good. So how about let's make these plants look great again. So for this all I'm using is some secateurs and if you don't have this for a plant like this that's got quite soft foliage you can just use a pair of scissors as well. But what we want to do is just tidy this up. I mean it looks terrible. It's got bits of death around. Now a lot of these leaves you can probably just pull out. Not a problem. But that does leave these stems down below. So we'll just go around to as low as you can get on the plant and just snip off these dead branches. Now you really don't want to just start pulling because you can like start shredding the bottom of the plant, uh, breaking bits off, breaking parts of the root system, just ruining the plant. So you, you want to be very careful with them because they are fragile. Now when I am doing this, I also like to look for leaves like this one. It's discolouring, it's looking a bit old, so what I like to do with these ones as well is just cut them off. Cut off anything that's like yellow. Here's another one. See, very yellow, that means it's dead and dying. And by doing this, you're actually feeding the plant a little bit better because these leaves are doing nothing but taking nutrients from the newer leaves. So you want to take these leaves off and that will divert those nutrients that were sort of half going to that leaf into other leaves and other new leaves and new growth and will help the plant grow and look a lot better. I mean, look at this, I've got a dead flower on here. This is actually growing out of one of the leaves. Not a problem, we'll just cut it off as low as you can. Remember, nice and low and get rid of anything that looks like it's changing colour or doesn't really suit the foliage that's already on the plant. Well, that looks heaps better already. Again, here's another specimen. We've got this big dead leaf, and all that's doing is sucking the nutrients from the other leaves. So we want to get rid of that. Down as low as you can get it, without cutting into the other leaves. We'll just cut that off. Again, I mean, you could probably pull this leaf off, but I don't want to risk hurting the plant. So we'll just cut that. Sometimes the leaves are so soft that you can't use the secateurs, which is why I do carry the scissors around as well, because they tend to be able to cut some things like paper. It's a bit of a different plant growing up here. Now, I'll probably take that out because, well, I don't want two plants in there and I don't know what it is and all it will do is grow and affect the growth of this plant. So that's looking good. Again we've got a bit of a dead flower here. So off with that. And this leaf here looks like it's been eaten by something. The colouring is starting to go yellow on it and well it's best just to cut these off as well. Let those nutrients go to new foliage that's on the plant, that's coming up, like this one in the middle. Beautiful new leaf coming up. Now I've got this beautiful crow's nest fern here. Well, it would be more beautiful if it didn't look like it just fell off the back of a truck. So again, just go to the base and just start cutting all these dead leaves off. Again, we have this leaf here, it's got a bit of yellow on the end. That means it's basically dying. So why not just get rid of it so the nutrients can go to new growth that hopefully is coming up in the middle of the plant. And there you go, how much better do those plants look now? They really do look great again. 
They will breathe easier, more nutrients will be going to new leaves, they look better, and a happy plant is a healthy plant. So there you go, beautiful new looking plant. Looks new again, doesn't it? Get your scissors out, go around and cut off all those dead and dying leaves, and you'll be helping your plant grow and thrive. Now, what to do with all these dead leaves? Well, find a patch in your garden, and throw them in. They will decay over time and because it's covering up any bare patches it will stop the weeds from growing. And as those leaves decay it will put the nutrients back into the ground and help other plants around it grow. Anyway I hope that tip was helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.